for a lot of us in this world, it's hard to control our emotions, our feelings about people living in the same world as people, but in different areas. Lots of us don't have many opportunities. Lots of us don't have many friends. Lots of us just sit around all day and don't leave our houses because we don't know what else to do. Some of us feel trapped and lonely. Some of us just want people to talk to and be around. But we can't get that. That's why we, some of us just hide away. That's all we can do. Hide away, away from the world. Because no one will listen to us. Or we try to speak out and people ignore us and walk past us. Especially the homeless people on the streets and the army vets on the streets. What served our country. And they get ignored. But they'd rather put these illegal migrants and immigrants in houses and hotels, which annoys a lot of people. The migrants get treated better than the merchants in the streets. And lots of other people are probably in the same boat that slip under the net. You know, I just want to say to people out there that are struggling and feeling angry and annoyed, Life is better out there. You can see a lot more things and opportunities. You just probably can't see it because of the drugs and the dr the drugs and the beer. Once you're off all that, you can see a nice, beautiful world and people that are around you that are nice and beautiful, loving and caring. But for my world and my reality, I have a lot of things in my head. That's why I write things down in my books. I speak a lot of things in my videos because does it help? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. What do you do? I'm struggling as well, but if anyone else is struggling out here, I want them to watch my video and feel better and happier in themselves and try and pick themselves up and help other people. It's to spread the word. Try and save more people's lives, stop people from dying, which would be a good thing. And stop people from committing suicide, which is a, a horrible thing, and I understand in the video. We need to save more lives, be around more people and help more people. Then they feel loved and appreciated. Um, some people don't know how to do that, but you know, if you've got a friend and a family member that feels the way I do, depressed, lonely, don't know what to do, you know, just help them, give them tasks, give them ideas, give them jobs to do to keep them busy. That's what some people do, but sometimes the illness can get stronger than it seems. Sometimes you try and ignore the illness with headphones and music. But it's only a temporary fix. Other times it doesn't work. And it's too late. Then you'll be sitting there grieving. And standing there at the graveyard. I wish I could have done more. I wish I could have helped this person. Some people have died like this. Some people have survived just because of music. And it's changed their lives. And Or making YouTube videos. It's stopped them from thinking these negative and horrible thoughts. In their head about people and themselves. I've struggled with a lot in my life. Some people struggle with depression and they don't speak about it. But like I say, I find life a challenge every day. My friends and my family don't seem to understand me or have a clue to help me. Which I find very annoying. I'm sure some of you guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls that have been for the same situation asking for help from your family, they can't give it you. So you'd have to go to a psychiatrist or a psychologist for the help because they've been trained to. In a way, they've probably never been trained. They've been studying for a long time. Everybody studies things. But all I can say is, the world's a big place. There's loads of people in it. And there's loads of selfish and ignorant people in it. I mean, you can go around these selfish and ignorant people in the world, or you can just face them head on. Some people prefer to go around them and don't engage with them. Best way to be. But when someone asks you for help, do you help them? Most people do, because they're nice people. Some people don't want to. And people remember that and don't help them. You know? Um, it is... I'm, I'm, t I'm telling you how I feel. Sometimes I just feel like this. The real me. Some people just see me as I am smiling, friendly, polite. Open the door for somebody. Most people do feel like that. But at the moment, I'm just being myself and uh, people sometimes don't see the real picture of people, see what's behind them. They don't see the real them. It's like looking into a mirror. Then when you go behind closed doors, the real person comes out.
the horrible person, the person that abused people, the, hurt, the person that swears at people. And people to see in real life as a nice, genuinely friendly guy who would do anything for anyone. Making the sun melt from the sky. Uh, put, building up people's hopes, making them feel happy and better themselves. Just because it's a good thing to do. But, uh, like I say, <laughs> I don't know how the video is going to go. I've, I've made another video about things. When I get triggered off, I get angry and make videos, don't we all? Some people go for walks. But I may go out for a walk in a bit at some point because I'm getting a bit annoyed. That's why I'm doing the video. I'm sorry I'm getting a bit angry. But uh, it's just so much It's going on in my head, like a, a motorway or a traffic jam sometimes. I don't know if you had the same problem. I try and filter things out. I try and get past these obstacle courses. But sometimes it's never easy. I try and watch films, play games, talk to people. How does other people feel the same way as me? Of course they do. Do they talk about it? Probably not. Are they scared to talk about it? Yep. Will they uh, speak to their friends and family about it? Do they feel embarrassed? All them sort of things, of course they do. They're going to feel embarrassed. They're going to feel angry and annoyed. I don't think anyone understands them or laughs at them. Every video I've done on YouTube is different. Imagine living with your friends or your family. And this may annoy you, I'm going to say. Stop putting words into my mouth. And then you think... Hold on a minute. I'm not putting words into your mouth. All I want is your help and your guidance. So why can't you give it me? But they think or have a certain way of doing things. Expecting you to do it yourself. But when you ask them what do you think about this. They get angry and arsy and say I don't know what to think. I'm not a mind reader. You can tell by the body language. Do, do mind readers know what you're thinking? Do people that speak to mediums or ghosts know what they're thinking? They say is it a job? Of course it is. Are some of them genuine? Yes. Are some of them fake? Yes. It's like with real life, some fake and genuine. Because they want the money. People are doing anything to make money. Some people are doing anything to con people with money. Doesn't make it right though. It's just stupid, isn't it? But not everybody sees the same way as what you see. They see it in a different light. But uh, I try and talk to my family, my friends, in a way they say they can't understand. You're confusing. Now let me tell you something, if I if you can't understand me and I'm so confusing, do you have confusing people at your job or your work? Of course you do, of course you do. Do they confuse you? Do you give them the same treatment as me? You probably don't, do you? Do you know why? Because if you gave them the same treatment as me, they won't come to you. They go to somebody else and you won't get the money. So it's put on an act all the time. People do it everywhere you go. Pretend to be nice to get money. When they're drunk in a pub or a nightclub, they pretend to like you and be your friend. And you buy them things, they buy you things. They're not really your friend. Fake love. Fake friendship and happiness. You can hear in the background another motorbike. Uh, do you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen ever get noisy motorbikes that annoy you every day? Daft times in the morning in sports cars. They keep you awake. Sometimes you can't be awake. Sometimes they learn the drivers. See all these other things in my brain that I have to get out on paper or on YouTube because I get really angry and triggered off by a lot of people. But I probably get more triggered off in life. Sometimes you just want a bit of peace and quiet and you don't get it half the time. And people just want to annoy you and get on your nerves. This is why a lot of people, unfortunately, want to time travel and go back in time. Away from all the riffraff, away from all the sports cars, loud noise, planes, and uh, various things, noisy things. They want to go back to the horse and cart age, or Tudor times, or uh, Viking times, or medieval times, because it was easier. Some people say it was harder, there was no medicines back there if you died then. The 40s and 50s, you had cancer, you'd die. I've, I've been in that situation. You know what I mean? I've watched people die of that, and I've got neighbours and friends that have. It's not a nice thing. Living with an illness and people don't understand you and they just treat you like everybody else. They don't. They just want to judge you. There's always someone that judges you. But you've got to be the bigger person and walk away from the people that are judging you. It's not an easy task. You may lose friends and family. Of course you will. I mean, I've got nowhere else to go where I live. I live here because I've got nowhere else to be. 
if I had the, if I had the, the money and the, run the lottery, I'd move somewhere else. I wouldn't want to be here anymore. But some people don't have a choice to move different areas and see friends and their family. Some people make the wrong path in their life and they can't go back to the area to meet their family. And their family get heartbroken because they wish they could see their mum and their dad, their brothers or sisters. Their friends that they want to see again. But because they can't because of the money and the travel. Money has a, a help of a lot of things in the world. Without that or not have that, you can't do anything. Money makes the world go round and money talks and money walks. Madness, isn't it? Just how we look at the world. I mean, I will think of more ideas. It just takes a while. I mean, I've done some ideas today and yesterday and other days. You know, just build them up and don't write, read and write in a book. Most people write these ideas in a book. Or it, just, it comes out naturally. You keep speaking about stuff and it just happens the way it goes. So it's one of those things, isn't it? Yeah. Living the world the best way you can. And trying to understand the world the best way you can. It's hard not to understand and realise the world the way it is. <laughs> I don't know if I should go to the go out tomorrow for a walk and just or just do these videos today to just relax me, chill me out, chill me out. Sometimes it doesn't relax me and chill me out. No, it doesn't. Just all these negative thoughts you think to yourself over and over again. It's just non-stop of it. Just really, is no stop of it. It really isn't. But it, you just, you've got to deal with it. If you don't, then things get worse. You know, you just got to try and figure out a way that trying to help yourself and help other people. If you're not well in yourself, how are you going to help others? But some people don't want to know about other people, do they? They're only interested in themselves. I'm just checking to see uh, if that video is lo loaded up. Obviously, it hasn't. It may take a few minutes to load up. Like this one's going to take a while because I'm talking a lot. But that doesn't matter. Expressing my opinion. Expressing the world and expressing how things just go how they are and, and various other things. So, yeah. <laughs> sometimes it is a lonely world for a lot of us. But this is what people do. Sometimes it helps when they talk. To get let their opinions out. Or you're just building it up, building it up. It's like a diary on a phone and it films you. And you're just letting out all your emotions and feelings and uh, all the other stuff. And other people can see what you, you're like and they can make a judgment. And uh, you think you're helping them, which you are, and they don't understand that. And it just goes in a circle. It really does. A big bloody circle like the world. You think you're getting to one place to another, which you are in the world. But it's just a big circle. It doesn't look like a circle in the world. It's like never-ending world. I mean, that was the case of outer space would be never-ending. Just keep going and going and going. And people said just the edge of the universe. Is that nearly the end of space? I mean, could you push for the edge of the universe? I don't know. There's bound to be other places that we don't know about in outer space. I mean, they could, for a matter of fact, if they really wanted to, they could start building in an outer space. They can make outer space massive compared to the Earth. They can put flowers up there, make gardens, make... Bridges, waterfalls, they could make the sky the way it is. Could they pump out a special chemical in the sky up there and make it breathable? Imagine outer space being huge. You can travel up there, more people be moving there, the scientists, rich people. You can buy more mansions in and out of space. Imagine that. Up there if you wanted to, if you wanted to go there. Make it look like Earth, make it look nice. Like there's TV programs like that and TV, I know. And there's like programs, they talk about it. Uh, connecting Mars to the moon, to outer space, to other planets. Motorways to there, build planets on there. They can make the universe and in outer space, the galaxy in the Milky Way, massive compared to the Earth. What would the Earth be used for? Well, the people that couldn't afford to move away from the Earth would still be on there with all the chemicals and gas masks there will be people on there but the thing is they'll be building so much things in that space they'd probably be building bringing stuff back to the earth or they maybe extending out space to the earth making it bigger and um on the other side they'd be traveling with different types of species and animals and out of space that were already there 
aliens, other life forms like Star Trek, Star Trek, <coughs> and Stargate, Galactica. Um, there've been other wars in that space over aliens, different dimensions that we've never seen before, mirror worlds in that space that are up there, that are making it possible for time travel in probably a thousand years. I wouldn't say a billion years, but. Uh, in our lifetime, we probably won't see it, or we probably there probably is something up there or already there now, and we don't even know. Time traveling is not possible on our planet, but the, who knows? They could be time traveling now. That's why people see those UFOs in the sky. They could be time travelers like us, looking at ourselves. What we see them is differently. If you've ever seen a film called Avatar, what do they look like? Big, large people in a machine. Going into forests and stuff, and going onto Jupiter, and uh, you know the different types of people. So it probably is happening now. Before we know, people can predict a lot of things in the world and the Earth, like aliens and stuff, and other creatures and giant bugs. I, I don't know. There's bound to be something up there. There's a space station on the, up there. So why can't they extend the space station and make more things? They've got the money to, haven't they? They need to learn a bit more about space, don't they? Is it that dangerous, like a vacuum cleaner? Or a Hoover in space, like an airbag? Who knows? But will it come on the news eventually? You know, once uh, some of these people that are in comas, do they go to different dimensions and different places in their own head? I mean, I watched a film with uh, Life on Mars, which is a good film, a uh, TV series. I watched the American one and the English version one. Yeah, it was an interesting TV program. I uh, couldn't, couldn't really fault it, to be honest. Um, just check to see that video is back on YouTube. So obviously a long video that I'm doing, and uh, some of these long videos are probably good. Some people probably prefer short videos. Some people say, talk away, express your opinions and feelings. Well, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Trying to be me. Um, that's all I can be. I can't be anyone else. Speaking to my heart's content, but who would know that anyway? Keep understanding the world that we're in, expressing the world that we're in. But eventually, probably 2030, people will move to Mars. Probably Elon Musk will have his own space station, who's getting plans probably. More people move on the moon, Mars. I don't know, like Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. That's quite funny, that is, yeah. Purgatory, Mercury, Venus. <laughs> it's like the song Venus. Um, Pluto, Saturn. I don't know if I've missed any out, actually. Um, probably have, there's probably more. Planets that I've missed out. I wonder what's further than the Milky Way and the galaxy and the uh, there. But there's more planets down there as well that we don't know. But yeah, um, <laughs> it is what it can be. Exploring the mind, opening different ideas, opening different doors, different places, different areas. <coughs> that's what it can be. Yeah, that's all it can be. But anyway, I've said enough for today. Thanks for joining me. See you next video. Take it easy, peace. Take it easy.